We ready? Is this thing on? Okay, so the other day I filmed some interviews for Flashback, which is the company of those guys that you just saw. Um, Kerrick's been in videos before, and I'm helping them film their Kickstarter video because they're launching soon. And I'm just going to go over how we film those interviews. Also, don't be surprised if there's some more behind the scenes from more shoots with those guys uh, coming up soon. We do have more stuff planned in the near future, particularly for that Kickstarter video that they're working on. But let's first get into the interview setup. Uh, this is the setup we did. So we got the A7 IV with the 85mm 1.8 on a tripod straight in front of me, but I'm talking at, I actually have a TV plugged into the camera so I can basically see myself, but it looks like I'm talking to an interviewer. Um, and when we are doing the interview stuff, that's where the interviewer is going to sit. Right here, just out of frame, we have the Rode NTG1 microphone boomed right next to the Amaran 100D with a Aperture Light Dome Mini 2. That's right there. It would be better to have a bigger one, but it's fine. And I have the diffusion and the grid on, so it doesn't light up too much of the, the room. Uh, on this side, right here, we have my G85 with the 25mm 1.7 on it as the second shot. So it's on the, on the shadow side, which is where you want to be shooting for interviews. Just generally for interviews, you want your interviewer to be between the light and the camera, and you want the camera to be on the shadow side of the face, and then the second camera is even more on the shadow side. So we have this camera over here as more of that side shot. We also have a light up here to act as a bit of a hair light, and that, that's sort of a warmer one just to give a bit more, it's not really doing a whole lot, but it, yeah, it is, it's doing a little bit. And then of course we have the, the sign in the background which lights up. We have another light behind that camera there. We just have a little LED light uh, just for, to light up the cameras back there, even though it's all blurred out anyway, but. And then audio, we have the Rode Wireless Go 2 going in straight into the A7 IV. We have the Rode Video Mic Go 2 on the G85. And then the Rode NTG1 is plugged in to a, oh, what's the, Focus, uh, Focusrite Scarlet 2, I think. Uh, it's, the, it's a two-channel one. And that's just plugged into a MacBook to record the audio in GarageBand, I think. Not my setup, but yeah. And then, yeah, so the light and the mic are on a C-stand, and that's pretty much it. I can't monitor this camera, but I can not only see the screen on this camera, but we also have plugged in the TV, so that's good. And I think in the final video, they will actually crop it a bit, because this is a little wider than I would think, especially because you can see sort of the interviewee's legs. So I think maybe crop it to like here would be pretty good. And, and it's in 4K, so if, you know, if you're only going to export a 1080p video, this is fine. But I think the biggest issue with this setup is just how far away the, uh, the microphone is. It would be nice to have it a bit closer. So if that audio just is not that good, then we'll have to just use this. And hopefully you can't hear them talking over there. So if you like this video, do all the things down there. Go watch another video, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.